Hello friends, in this video we will learn about neurogenic bladders. In our previous videos we have discussed about normal bladder innervations. I strongly recommend to watch that video first because that basics are necessary for understanding neurogenic bladder. These are the type of neurogenic bladder. We will study them one by one. Watch full video for proper understanding. We will see from top to bottom. First of all, lesion of brain above the pons. The causes include intracranial tumors, rupture of an aneurysm, penetrating wounds, and lobectomy. As lesion is in the brain, there is complete loss of voiding control. There is no inhibition regarding time and place, so bladder empties in response to stretching of the bladder wall. So it is called as uninhibited bladder. Newer terminology for this is neurogenic detrusor overactivity. Next is lesions of spinal cord above T12 level and the causes includes multiple sclerosis, trauma, AV fistulas, syringomyelia and pot spine. In this type, when bladder fills, signal goes to lower end of spinal cord, but signal cannot go to higher levels. As the bladder is not in control of higher functions, the detrusor usually becomes reflexively overactive. So there is inability to inhibit the detrusor and the control of external sphincter, which results in urgency, frequency and incontinence. And this is termed as detrusor sphincter dyssynergia. Here, bladder sensation is normal. So, next what happens is bladder becomes spastic, hypotonic, and low volume capacity. As we know, spasticity is a feature of UMN type of lesion. So, it is called as UMN bladder. Here, bladder automatically gets evacuated. So, it is also called as automatic bladder. Next is complete destruction of cord below T12 level and the causes includes lesion of the conus, myelodysplasias, tumor and venous angioma. Here what happens is when bladder fills, signal goes to spinal cord which is not functioning. The bladder is paralyzed for voluntary and reflex activity. So there is no awareness of state of fullness. Bladder distends as urine accumulates until there is overflow incontinence. So, bladder will be distended and filled and starts overflowing and this type of bladder is known as autonomic bladder. Here, there is complete inability of bladder to empty which is known as detrusor areflexia. Bladder capacity is increased and the time comes when bladder becomes flaccid and hypotonic. And as we already know, flaccidity and hypotonicity is a feature of element type of lesion. So, it is also called as element type of bladder. Voiding can be made possible by Creed's manure, that is lower abdominal compression and abdominal straining. Next is sensory paralytic bladder. The causes include diabetes and tabis dorsalis. It is caused by impairment of afferent pathway innervating the bladder. So there is sensory bladder paralysis. There will be large amount of residual urine. Patients maintain voluntary initiation of micturation because efferent pathways are still intact. Then last is motor paralytic bladder. The causes include lumbar spinal stenosis, lumbosacral meningomyelocele or following hysterectomy or abdominal surgery. In most of these cases, patients suffer from painful urinary retention or impaired bladder emptying. Residual urine and bladder capacities varies. So these were 5 basic types of neurogenic bladder. Treatment for each type mainly depends upon the cause. If you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe and also write in comment box if you need me to make video on any specific topic. Thank you.